cloud. So here's just an example. So, and Isaiah, do you ever use what? What did you call it? Indirect perfian, like. Yeah, the it, inside the exo, the indirect. So it yeah, Irfan was using this thing, and he's like, "Oh, it's indirect." I'm like, "What in the world is that?" He's like, "Oh, it's magic." And, and <laughs> yeah, so you have text that then converts into a row. Yeah. So when you use indirect here, you can give it a text, and that would actually refer to the actual row. Yeah, even I can I can change the sheet name in the indirect. Right, so yeah. It will refer to different sheet. Right. But what I was saying was, well, what about offset? And Irfan's like, well, what's the offset? I'm like, oh my yeah, god. So he didn't know about offset. <laughs> no, I, That's interesting. I I know offset in here, so right. So A one dot offset like here. Yeah. Yeah, and now add. Yeah. Right. yeah. The the way how you use indirect is when a cell that you have has text that could be reported as another cell. So if the cell contains the text B23, that could be the name of a different cell. And I could use indirect to use that text okay. to then convert it into that other cell and get what that is. Okay, interesting. All right. Right. You you remember the double reference in V1? Like yeah. when you have to we'll have a variable that had a text that then you can convert into another variable? The same thing. So okay. just in if with auto hotkey, Scott, if you wanted to like set cell um in in what I would be doing is let's say I'm looping over the column A. And I want to, you know, do something over in the corresponding row. Hey, um, in column D, I want to, I want to do something that has to do with the the row that row in column A, right? So you could be looping over, use a for loop over the, the the column A. Yeah, exactly, right. And just do a message box. Um, and actually, let's do this. So. Yeah, so do a cell dot value and then show the offset of it. So do a message box. No, don't change anything. Just do a message box here. So cell dot value and then do an A tab or something. That's fine. That's fine. And then um and then do the cell dot value with an offset. Cell offset. Yeah. And then I forget which one's which. Is it the Yeah, these are the row, these are column. Okay. Yeah. So so now we are looping through the cell. It will tell us the value in the in the in the first cell for first either, time. Either do a window snip of that, or or bring it down. Um, bring it. You know, share that screen with your Excel file. Uh, we want to see both. So right now I am I am on A one, oh, but my oh, sorry. Go back to VS Code and either. Split your screen one so you can show both at the same time or do a screen. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Because it. Okay. So now I'm looping over the range from A1 to A10. And then I put the like. Addresses in the in the values, so we will see. So A two and B two. So what I'm doing is setting an offset, increasing a column number. So Irfan, sorry for interrupting you. Um, change it from a message box to set a value in the in move over one more column or two more columns, and set the value to equal both A and B. Like this. Um, I think we want. Whoa, what'd you do? Um, you you want a a column value into the B? I think. No, no, I want in column D. I want you to move over two two more. I want to be in column D. Okay. And we're gonna make column D be the offset value of Zero, a and one, B. two, three. Yeah. So so now, well, but but 
whatever. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Okay. So, Very cool. Um, yeah, so you can easily say, hey, there's always something either this way or or above it or whatever, right? And it makes it really easy to refer to something that uh, it's sort of statically doesn't change in that relationship. And it's, and it's so simple, you know, it's so easy to understand. That's why I'm like, oh, they're, they're huge game changers of, I want to, um, this is where I'll set, like, let's say you get URLs in column A and the pretty text you want displayed in column B. Now in column E, I'm going to build a hyperlink that uses the offsets because they're all related in that row. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. And I've it makes needed it really... this a million times. <laughs> yeah. And have done it manually. Yeah, exactly. Right. But yeah. in X library, that we have a X creating a hyperlink. So, right. Uh, and that's why I said he could go look at. And that's because I used, if I remember right, I used the, at least when I wrote it, I wrote, the, I had the offset. I used the offset in it. Yeah, there we go. Or if also I think for putting in email addresses or something, because it was really not fun to figure out when you first do it, but then the function made it easy. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to really study this Excel library. Yeah, yeah. The other really one that comes up a lot, that surprisingly, is, hey, Irfan, go to the column D9. Hit control K and put in google.com. Yeah, that's fine. Now, let's say you had a spreadsheet that has a pretty lot of pretty links, but all you want is the hyperlink. Right. That's not super easy, crazily enough. It's not like you kind of have to know what you're doing. Sure. Right. And, and it's there is an example in the function library on how to get how to remove the hyperlink, but also how to get just the hyperlink um, from a, a given location. So that's what I love, because I'm like, oh my God, that actually, surprisingly for me, came up a lot. I get documents that have hyperlinks, but I, I wanted the actual URL and it wasn't easy to grab. And the code is simple. It's just knowing the code that takes some practice. Yeah. Why don't you just not use the offset and just directly call the, ah, there we go. Good job. Because I'm looping over the A range and then I'm finding the ninth A9 and then I'm switching to the but D and then getting that. Example, you wouldn't need to use the, you know, for, for this purpose, you would just directly call that range. Yeah. Right. I will call, yeah, D range. Yeah. And then you could use the offset to shove the URLs into column E. Right. Yeah. You would loop over the D range and then just set it to one over from it to insert so the URLs. Let me copy it and then I will loop through D to D10 and then I would do like remove the hyperlink here. So cell lose line nine dot right? offset. Yeah. That value like one. Yeah. And then I, I will excrete all the hyperloops in there. And this example is already in the Excel HK. So, so yeah, we... the 10th the, the one has no hyperlink, so we got the error. Yeah. So we can, we have to use a try statement in there. So if I remove this and yeah. Nice. 
Okay. Well, that was that was the only one I was like, that offset is really powerful. 